Hey guys, it's Better Designs here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a kind of realistic flame, like the one I have here. Now, it, it's kind of realistic. So what you want to do is go to File, New, and here I got my default settings, 1600 by 1200 pixels, then 300 resolution. And so that's all the stuff I got for desktop background. And what you want to do here is you could either do it on the background layer, or you could do it on a new layer. So just make it black. Oops. Yeah, okay. Black. Then you want to grab your elliptical marquee tool. That's right here. And you want to make the foreground color white. And just draw out an oval kind of like this one. Yeah, here we go. Then just color it white. Then control D on your keyboard. Or you could you know, go to select, then deselect, or right click and deselect. Then you want to grab your slump, smudge tool, blah, and usually I line it up by the top and use the bracket keys to, you know, kind of get the size right. So, this is about good, which is at 80, and then, you know, put the hardness to 50, and up here on the strength you want to put it at 50. Then with an okay amount of speed, just kind of, you know, drag across it. And, of course, my computer will lag. So, you know, just kind of keep doing it. Except, it shouldn't be laggy for you. I mean, it might be, if you got a bad computer, like I do. <laughs> but, yeah, so you just want to, you know, kind of drag across it. Then, you want to do it again, the same direction and everything, over the gaps, kind of like this. And ah, oh, this lag is horrible. So you want to keep dragging it, you know, with not too much speed though. So then you want to do it one more time with all the gaps. You can really do this as many times as you want to be lacking, but yeah, so. And it's, it's looking pretty good right now. <laughs> so, let's finish this up. And, here we go. Drag that forward a bit. And what you want to do here is now grab the brush tool, make it black, and you know, kind of just rub this out. This, this is kind of ugly. Alright, so I'm gonna change the flow of it so, you know, it kinda blends better. There we go. So kinda just rub it out so it's not looking so bad. And what you wanna do now is go to this little options thing. I don't know what it's called. I forget. And just cut curves. And from here we have RGB color. You wanna first go to the red. And drag it up a little bit like this that looks about good then go to green you know kind of drag it down a little bit but up then definitely bring the blue down a little bit or a lot and bring the red up some more there we go it's starting to get there it's a little too high so i'm gonna bring the green down a little bit so kind of down to normal and bring the red back down a little bit. There we go. Alright, let's see. And here we go. Looks about good. What I'm going to do here is make a trance, you know, kind of select over it. And I'm just going to drag and control T on my keyboard. Or you could right click and click on the free transform. Or like I just said, control T on the keyboard. And what I like to do here is grab it, then I hold shift. And I'll just swing it over because, you know, it kind of makes it faster and, you know, more precise without you looking at it as much. You know, if you get what I mean. So now what you want to do is you want to grab a brush tool. You want to brush this out. And you don't want to use white because of this. Because that's a mask up there, and it's gonna, you know, show all the curves. But it won't show through black. Here, and I don't know what's wrong. Oh, oh, 
the flow. Make sure the flow is 100. And you just kind of, you know, want to brush it out. Here we go. Or you could keep it. Whatever you prefer. But, so yeah. Then you want to go up to filter and liquify. And here you just got the black and white image because it doesn't show the curves. Then here, you know, the brush is a little big. I'm gonna change the brush. Let's see. Uh, no, not one, not 151. Let's change it to 50. And see how it looks. I'll keep that the same. Okay. You know, it's kinda nice, I guess. It's a little small. So I'm gonna change it back to 100. Ooh. There we go. And just, you know, kind of brush it around, make it look like the flame is uh, licking each other. You know, if you ever heard that saying, where the flame licks at some point. Here we go, now it's starting to kind of, you know, look like a flame a little bit. I'm going to change this back to 50, and I'm going to add, you know, just some little detail. Uh, this won't look probably as good as my, you know, my last one. Even though, I don't know if that looked any good, I thought it did. But, you know, you could really put a lot more detail on it. So, from here, you just want to click on OK. And... Because of my crappy computer, it might take a second. There we go. And it looks good. Let's see, 652. Now, let's, you know, grab the, you know, the, what's it called, rectangle marquee tool, and just, you know, kind of make it under so I could just get the brush and, you know, brush over it so it's kind of got that flat bottom. And later on, I'll put it at the bottom, but probably not in this tutorial. And let's just zoom in. And let's kind of make it darker. So I'll put the flow down, I'll grab the I already have the brush out, and I'll just, you know, kind of flow over it, make it a little bit smaller. Let's see, okay, that looks about right. So then, see, so, you know, kind of make it darker at the base. What I'm gonna do is make the uh, brush a little smaller. And what I did there was, uh, I used the bracket tool. I'll just kind of, you know, make it go up into the legs. There we go. And it's starting to look good. Then I will grab the white. I'll grab the white and I'll just, you know, kind of rub it out. Okay, we need the brush to be a little bigger. There we go. Just, you know, kind of rub it out so it's not, you know, so weird looking. So yeah, here's the original image that I did, and, you know, I took a lot more time on the detail of the licks and stuff. So, you know, you could take a lot more detail into it, and here I created a new layer, and I just made black over the flame, you know, the kind of base of the flame. Then, you want to change the blending mode to darken, and, you know, kind of bring the opacity down a little bit, like that. Looks about right. Then, let's just zoom in all the way and see how it looks. Alright, so, it's looking pretty good. I mean, you could add a lot more detail to it. Um, I just kind of did this tutorial in Rush, and honestly, my last one, it took probably about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, you know, kind of just getting the good detail in and stuff. Eh. Then... So, I'm just gonna, you know, kind of make this smaller so we could all see it, and control T, oh, okay, it's got some of the flame on the outside, so I could just deselect it, there we go, and control T again, and kind of make it smaller, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna fill it in, fill it in the background, and, oh, I didn't even have it on, deselected, okay, control D to see deselect and just zoom in 100% see how it looks and it's looking pretty good I think
just for a quick tutorial. So this is how you make a, you know, a kind of realistic flame. I hope you guys enjoy this, and with this one, oops, this one I took, you know, a lot more time on it. Not, not a lot, but you know, like, just more time on where the details were at, to where the darkness was with the flame itself. So I hope this helps you guys, you know, make a flame for yourself without going to another website and grabbing one. Uh, rate, subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you guys think.